Over here, Yuma. Father's waiting for us. Uh, all right. Why the sudden invitation, though? Ah, Yuma. Right on time. This way, if you please. Yuma! <laughs> Primula, Emma, what are you doing here? While I told Uncle Burroughs what happened, I said I wanted to do something to thank you, and when he heard that... He told us to come to the castle. Your Highness, Miss Kirika, Yuma, thank you all so much. Thank you. Don't worry about it. We only did what needed to be done. Oh, Yuma should get special thanks, though. Thank you for helping us. Uh, oh, no. You don't have to. No need for modesty now, Yuma. They made the trip to the castle to extend their personal thanks, after all. Please accept my own thanks as well. You've protected my people from a dragon's wrath. And I don't just mean Primula. Had the beast been allowed to run unchecked, it might have chosen the city itself for its next rampage. But thanks to your efforts, that fate has been avoided. And for that, you have my gratitude, Yuma. <laughs> I told you he can fight, Father. Never would have thought. Putting an old dragon soul into a fresh body gets you a new dragon. And here I thought they were just pretty crystals. If the Imperials can keep churning these things out, we're really gonna need the shining... Burrows. <clears throat> Begging your pardon, of course, Yuma. That being said, in this matter, I actually agree with Burrows. I, for one, would rest easier at night knowing we have the dragon's support. I cannot force this upon you, Yuma, but forgive me for holding out hope. Have you given any more thought to my question? About lending you my, uh, power? <laughs> Mom, Mom said, said the dragon's, dragon's power, power is dangerous. dangerous. It has, it has to, to stay, stay contained. contained. Or else, or else uncording disaster. disaster. For, For me, me, the people, people around me. me. But if but there, there were a way to get a better get handle on him, him. I, did I did save Sonya and Kirika at Galeritz. And, and if I can, can fight, fight off dragons, dragons like I did to help Primula, maybe it's not as bad as Mom thought. Maybe no one has to get hurt at all. If I just play it close to my chest, use it sparingly, help people out with it, Maybe I can even be useful for once. Useful? Me? The one always leaning on others for help. If I did that... Yeah. Yeah. I think Mom would be okay with it. Yuma. Sonya? You can do it. Will you fight alongside us? I... I'll do it. Your Majesty, if you'll have me in your service. I want to help. Please, let me fight with you.
If that's everyone, let us begin. I've called this summit for a single purpose. The dragon. Tell me everything you know about the Shining Dragon. Joachim, let us first discuss your contributions. What fruit has your study of the Shining Dragon borne? Uh, yes, that. Nothing new to report, Your Highness. However, you did see him transform, yes? Then it would appear the boy does bear the dragon after all. He was quite submissive, so my interest faded. If only he'd suffered more, that would have been quite stimulating. Hmm. The dragon. Is it possible to use it for my father's ends? Repurpose its power? Oh, but of course. Not to worry, Highness. I wouldn't dream of missing anything useful. I'll dissect him to the marrow next time. As you like. A question of logistics, however. To even begin capturing the creature, we must know its location. Do we? Yes, Your Highness. Reports indicate Astoria is sheltering the boy for now. As I thought. They speak gentle words, but they wouldn't give up such power. But this is fortuitous. All we need to do now is lay a wide enough net, bait it sweetly to Astorian noses, and wait for our proverbial fish, or dragon, should I say. And when the trap is sprung, Zest, can we rely on you to capture the dragon? <sighs> capture? Sounds like a pain. Hmm? I thought you were interested in the dragon. Has your fancy moved on to other subjects? See, here's the thing. We've been talking it up a bunch, but if the Shining Dragon turns out to be a weakling, I might end up breaking it by accident. But if it's on the stronger side... <laughs> if Boy lives up to the hype, there's no telling how excited I'll get. And then... What happens, happens, right? You will stand down, Zest. The Shining Dragon will be my responsibility for this operation. Whatever. After you've had your turn, I'll be there to make a real fight of it. You understand? Allow me to apologize for Zest's behavior on his behalf, Highness. I will see to the Shining Dragon if it please you. Hm. I'll leave it to you then, Georg. But do not forget the purpose of your mission, nor the nature of your quarry. You are to observe, assess, and only then capture, if it's safe. Thy will be done. I await word of your success. That will be all. Beatrice? I'm here. The Princess Excella. You've had more than enough time to observe her now. Your thoughts? Well, let's see. She's got blue blood, all right. And the moodiness to match. Kind of a stuffy noble type. Nothing unexpected there. Reminds me a little of someone, actually. Someone tactically relevant? Someone I ought to know about? <sighs> no. I'm just being nostalgic, I suppose. More to the point, the princess. She's a sharp one, you know. Good fighter. Thinks well on her feet. Whatever it is you're planning, Georg, I'd be careful. You're not gonna be able to outwit her too easily. I understand. If that's the case... Seems the only way I'm going to figure out this princess is by observing her firsthand. 